something so amazing when she was going through boxes in the attic. Are you ready to see what it is? Scarfs! I brought them here so I can dance with them. Music player, Melody. Hello. Can you please play some fun music for dancing with scarfs? Playing fun music. Here I go. I love dancing with scarves, and I want you to try with me. Pretend like you have a scarf in your hand. Wave the scarf high, wave it low, and swoop it around in a big circle. Now put your hands back in your lap. Great job, friends. I love dancing with all these bright colors. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Having fun with scarves, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I just love dancing with all these bright colors. Red and yellow and orange. Who? Who? Those colors remind me of a story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Yes! I got it working! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hola, friends! 
I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just fixing my indoor marshmallow roaster. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I even roast marshmallows on a big fire outside. Have you ever done that? Oh, it's so much fun. Speaking of fire, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah. Elijah was a friend of God's. He knew God could do anything. And Elijah trusted God. But the king of the land, King Ahab, did not. King Ahab believed in a pretend god called Baal and had a big statue of him. The king had a lot of people who told him over and over that Baal had superpowers, that the statue could do anything. And the king was like, wow, that's great. But Elijah was like, no, that's not great. There is only one true God and everyone needs to know. So Elijah said to the king, let's do a test. We'll each set up an altar and then we'll pray. The God who starts a fire on the altar is the real God, the one true God. Everyone agreed and Elijah let King Ahab go first. So King Ahab and his big group of people prayed to Baal and they shouted, but did Baal send fire? Nope. So Elijah said, hmm. Maybe it's sleeping. Maybe you should shout louder. So King Ahab and the prophets tried again. They shouted louder and louder, but did Baal answer with fire? Let's check. Nope. Then it was Elijah's turn. He trusted God and believed God can do anything. So Elijah went to the altar. He had people pour water on it so it would be really hard to light on fire. And then he prayed, God, we believe you are the one true God, that you can do anything. Show us your power, God. He did it. God lit the altar on fire and everyone knew that God is the one true God. Wow, God is so powerful. God can do anything. When we remember that God can do anything, it helps us to trust God. I can trust God and you can trust God. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. God showed he's the one true God. That means we can trust him. Ho! Ho! Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho! Ho! Wow, God can do anything. He sent fire and showed that he is the one true God and we can trust him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! All these colors look like the fire in our story. Now whenever I dance with them, I can remember that God can do anything. 
Hey, Melody, play some more dancing music, please. Playing dance music. God, I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. 